I've taken over the new position, the position of Chief Executive Officer of Small Luxury Hotels in the beginning of August. Um, I think what is important, I'm a hotelier at heart. I've spent 30 years in this business. The last 18 years I was working for Belmont, previously known as Orient Express Hotels, Trains and Cruises. And the last six years I was in London as their Chief Operating Officer. What is important, I feel, is that if you are dealing with 520 member hotels, it is key that the person leading the company understands the joys and the challenges and the challenges that hoteliers have to go through. So I feel that I'm ideally suited for this role. We had our first international conference under my leadership uh, two weeks ago in Marbella, Spain. And I could feel that we are now connecting much better with the hotels. They feel there is a new energy in the company. And I'm very excited, together with my team, to um, create a great future for the brand. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. We have um, developed a new logo for the brand. As you can see, this is our new directory, which is going to be reintroduced in 2016. And this is our new contemporary logo, small luxury hotels of the world. And this is very important, our new strap line, independent, independently minded. Because what we try to do as a company is not only to support our hotels, but to connect independently minded hotels with independently spirited customers. You know very well that today the high-end traveler is much more interested in discovery, learning, and connecting with the local communities than they used to be. It's not just about quality rooms and impeccable service. We have a new um, loyalty program for our travel agents. Travel agents are vitally important to small luxury hotels. They provide us with two thirds of our reservations. So our new program is called Small Luxury Heroes. And with that program, we will award travel agents for their bookings and we will award them with gift certificates. We award them with free stays according to their production. We start with selecting uh, our best selling agents. And then of course, we build up the program because the program is devised for agents to start booking more and to, to reap the rewards. It is the first program we do for travel agents. We've always looked after our travel agents very well because two thirds of our bookings coming are coming through the travel agents. But we thought that we have to put even more attention to our travel agents. You know very well that the online travel agents now, the OTAs, are part of our competitive um, world. And clearly what we need to be careful of is that we make sure that we do for the hotels what the online travel agents are not doing for the hotels. And that's driving higher average rate business, more sweet business in the hotels, create loyalty through our SLH club and make sure that we have lots of active and involved loyalty members. And that's why we are looking now after our travel agents who provide us with the um, very biggest part of our bookings. And that's why we want to create more loyalty there. In terms of development, we have about 63% of our hotels um, located in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. We have about 24% of our um, hotels located in Asia Pacific and the rest in the Americas. Now, in the Americas, we have a lot of scope for further development. We have a number of hotels in New York, but for example, we have no hotels in Seattle, we have no hotels in San Francisco, so there is plenty of work to do. I would also, having spent seven years in South America in my career, I would also like to expand very much into South America. Um, in London, we're very well represented. Paris, we're very well represented. So if we add hotels in main gate cities, it will only be top, top, top class hotels, as we call um, super hotels.